Hello friends, um, welcome. So now let's talk about the uh, custom taxonomy, which we have registered genre taxonomy. Okay, so into the taxonomy is go to the genre. I'm just close this. Okay, so this registered taxonomy function now uh, accepts the argument. Taxonomy is log object type. Object type means log post type uh, where or uh, like register uh, uh, for example, let me explain it post type is independent thing okay custom post types are independent but taxonomies are dependent on the custom post types uh, okay so you cannot register a taxonomy without having or without assigning to a custom post type and that's why we have to provide a custom post type like where this taxonomy belong to or assigned to the post type and the arguments okay so here in the genre taxonomy we have passed a genre uh, axiomies look in the array format we have passed the movie so we want to register this taxonomy to movie if you want to display or uh, assign it to post as well post type or to maybe page as well so you can just do here and if you refresh the page or go back it uh, go back and just refresh now you can see genre taxonomy to post genre taxonomy to post type uh, pages as well okay but we don't need it right now but you can pass add a post type slugs if you want to register a post uh, taxonomy to multiple posts okay and these are the labels similarly the uh, custom post types labels these labels used to manage a genre a genres taxonomy labels add new genre genres and every other labels you can see here uh, or on edit or, or on updating the like genre messages you can you can uh, ma manage it through from the here from the labels and then similar arguments we have hierarchical so go through that let's let's go through the here uh, okay so we have already talked about this you can also uh, provide a description then public whether you want to make this taxonomy publicly available similar as a custom post types okay so similarly uh, uh custom post like we have the movies archive page we can also have uh, archive page over taxonomy okay so for example go to the genres we have two movies to the action if i click on a view you can see the uh, archive uh, genre action archive page like archive page of the genre taxonomy with the action term so action genre have list of movies will be displayed here okay so this way this uh, will be uh, used this public public variable everything and see other other uh, menu arguments are same so ui so in menu so in new menus uh, this is so in race and race space race name space okay and then so tag cloud whether we want to show a tag cloud widget controls or not and a few other things admin column and everything okay so whether so for example this argument whether to display a column for the taxonomy on its post site listing since or not so for example if go to the here all movies uh you can see categories and tags but couldn't see the genre taxonomy so probably this argument will can be used so if i just copy this thing and pass it here and pass the true argument okay and this will display the genre taxonomy here okay also remove these categories and tags from here because we do not need it so go to the movie just in case uh, i'm just removing this is just for an example we have added okay so now you can see a genre taxonomy as well so what the genre terms assigned to these movies can be displayed it from here and this is for taxonomy custom taxonomies okay and this kind of information we can get directly from the wordpress core and that's why i always recommend to go through the wordpress uh, core files to learn more about the uh, all the wordpress functions and the features okay and these capabilities and everything we will learn and the rewrite we will learn in the another video okay and few uh, and almost all the arguments are the same only if some of the arguments will be different you can go through all the arguments if i miss add some arguments here but you can always go through it uh, but uh, this video is just like how we can register custom post like what are the different arguments and why it's very important to learn about each and every argument because at some point we uh, in, for the developers these things are very important to know okay and that's why we are learning it right now in this video okay so we have learned about this taxonomy and also in the register taxonomy function you can see it stored all the information in wp taxonomies global variable okay and it create 
the WP taxonomy. And this also provides uh, filters, sad props. You can use this as a taxonomy argument filter to filter the arguments before registering the post type. So you can always modify or, or if like if third party plugins registering the custom text or, uh, sorry, custom taxonomies. And if, if you want to change the argument, you can use this filter. Okay. Um, then uh, these are the very helpful. Okay. And also we have add a couple of things. For example, in the movie, I think I missed something. Yeah. This movie updated messages. So like whenever the uh, update the movie or anything. So for example, let me just uh, here add field. I'm just com uh, commenting this code. So this won't be executed. And if I go to the post here and just click on an update or I have to just make some changes here, just update and update it. You can see a view movie. Okay. And few other things like, uh, here in the uh, bulk messages. So these are the uh, post updated messages used uh, to update the uh, different uh, updated messages. So instead of having a post updated or default labels, uh, we can modify it based on our uh, content types. Okay, and similarly for bulk update messages. So bulk update messages means like you can click on a bulk add it and apply and whatever changes you can do and what messages are displaying those will be displayed here okay i'm just canceling it right now okay and these are the important thing now um, another argument i want to talk about is so in test what if the so in test is used to make sure that uh, this post type available in the uh, rest api or accessible through the rest api okay but this is very helpful to to enable the block editor. So for example, if I just pass the false and go it here and go to the edit the post, you can see the classic editor instead of the block editor because block editor uses the rest API to fetch and store the post data. Okay. So to use the block editor, we have to pass so in rest through. Okay, so just in case if you if you forgot to pass this argument and this argument by default is the false. Okay, so if you go here in a so in rest as uh, here so in rest and default a uh, default is the post uh, sorry default is a uh, false. Okay, so we need to include this uh, by default true. So uh, we have to pass this to enable the um, the block editor. Okay, by default it's a false. So uh, you have to pass this argument and to set to true to use the block editor. So if I just go here now, you can see the block editor now. Okay. So, and this is very important. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's all about uh, learning uh, the custom push types and custom taxonomies. Okay. So uh, yeah, now I have explained most of the things now go uh, and register the custom post types and taxonomies also go through those functions uh, and see what are the other arguments if I, any arguments if i have missed learn about it make some changes and see how it affects uh, in the wordpress admin and in the front end and so that we can uh, uh, have a better understanding of the custom post types and taxonomies and we already seen in the uh database audio uh a video that the uh, custom post types and its uh, meta information are stored in the post uh, table and the post meta table okay so when you create a uh, custom post types and you add the uh, custom posts to that custom post types and those argue uh, those data will be saved to the post table okay so you can also check that out okay um thanks for watching this video and uh, i hope you do uh, all the practical and go through uh, always learn in depth like uh, we just we just don't want to become a user like uh, okay I, I'm just know how to register post type and done. I'm I just know about few argument but not all the argument we should know all the arguments and what are the possibilities how and when these things have been introduced so so that we can also manage the WordPress version compatibility okay so let me give you an example we have talked about it so let me give you an example for example that we talked about a registered post type argument filter okay to filter the arguments so that uh, that filter when it is introduced 4.4.0 so if 
if you are using this filter and if your plugin installed on a WordPress version less than 4.4, then this uh, filter won't be executed. Since it's a 4.4 and currently it's a 5.9 version, so it's been a long since and most of the users have been updated to the uh, newer versions, but still this kind of information is very helpful for the developers. If you are developing the uh, plugin for all the users, all the like different users, and if it's available publicly, okay, to use it. So these things are very important. These things we can easily get it by exploring the WordPress code. Okay, even we, we don't have to uh, look on the Google or any other search engines. Okay, so always prefer using the WordPress code to, uh, to just look at the code base. Yeah, thanks for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Enjoy your -bye.